guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be making puff puff. I already have a recipe for puff puff, but this is an updated meal fat recipe, especially one that's not really hands on. In my last recipe, a lot of people were like, Susie, I mean, can we do it without touching it? Well, you can do it without touching it. I have the trick for you. So, if you're interested in seeing how I make this puff puff with great results, keep watching. Don't forget to click the like button and subscribe so you see all my recipes. Let's start cooking. The exact measurements and list of ingredients will be on my blog ccme.com. The link is in the description box. We're going to be sifting the flour so that if there are any lumps or anything in the flour, it would easily get out and you can just throw it away. We're also going to be using instant yeast. You don't need to soak this one in warm water, just pour it in the flour. I'm also going to be using this sugar, this, the yeast and the sugar, I got it from ShopRite. So this sugar is kind of like caster sugar, it doesn't have the hardness of normal granulated sugar, I like using it for baking. So we're going to be using this sugar and just pour it in the flour and um, add nutmeg. I'm going to mix all the dry ingredients together, like mix it properly so that everything will be incorporated. Then I would have warm water on standby, warm water. And I'm going to add a few cups of this warm water to the flour. I will add it gradually and gently mix it in till it's almost smooth. As you can see, my hands are not in direct contact with anything. I'm just going to be using my tools, my kitchen tools, to give you a touch-free puff puff. <laughs> so next, I'm going to be using a foil paper. I've reused this foil paper for something else before in my house. I reuse foil paper because we cannot be wasting money. So after covering it with the foil paper, you're going to cover it with a napkin. The key is to keep it in a warm place. I'm going to put it in my oven. My oven is warm, not hot or warm. And I'm going to leave it there for about 45 minutes. You see that everything would have risen. It would rise. Just take a look. Can you believe this? What we just put in the ovens, it's more than doubled up. So now that it's doubled up, we're ready to make some puff puff. To take your puff puff ministry to the permanent side, you need something like this. You need a sieve like this. If you don't have it, I will not take you seriously. <laughs> and I'm going to be using my measurement spoon to scoop the puff puff. So I'm not going to be touching it at all. And it's going to give me fairly round puff puffs that I'm happy with. So you see the way I'm scooping it? I'm just gonna keep scooping it like that. Once in a while, I dip that scoop in normal oil, not the one in the panel, just oil on the side so that the mixture doesn't stick to the scoop and as you can see i'm just flipping my puff puff they are fairly round aren't they like why use your hands when you can use a scoop and you can see some of this puff puff refuse to turn that's how life is so people are just stubborn they don't want to be great I'm going to scoop my puff puff out and allow it to drain. As you can see, it looks yummy and it tasted so yummy. And we're going to do this all over again because I'm making a big batch of puff puff for my family. I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. Don't forget to click the like button, it's very important, and subscribe so that you see all my recipes. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!